you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the best way to build a no money spent team up to date as of September 15th. Now, if you guys know how I run this, it's not that I have a no money spent team, but I go over the best ways to build one and I go over the available options of free cards we've been offered in Madden thus far. And I kind of go over pretty much what you could potentially be looking at for a no money spent team. Because a lot of people this year, this is kind of the year of the no money spent. Like, they, Madden's been pretty good with giving no money spent users a pretty decent return on their investment of playing no money spent and for the most part a lot of people might not even know the potential of what you could have no money spent so this is for like the people who are just starting people who have a no money spent team it kind of lets them know that like there's hope like you could have a good team without investing money into this game now although i did go on pack openings earlier in the year for the most part my team is beyond that no money spent like i have not done a pack opening since the first week of madden so like I, the way I like to run this is that typically in the beginning of the year, I open up a few packs, get my team kickstarted, and then from there on, I go no money spent there on out for the most part. Maybe around Christmas, I'll open some packs because you know this is the Christmas promo, maybe the October promo. But for the time being, it's kind of how I like to run it. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button. We are 50 subscribers away from 8K, boys. Let's make it happen today. Comment down below anything I missed in this video, any no money spent beast, any no money spent options that I did not go over. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. And if you guys haven't already, Turn on that noti bell. Let's get into this video. So guys, I'm going to skim through the things that we already know. I'm going to go over them really quickly. But for starters, for all you guys who are new beginners, if you're no money spent, you want to be looking at the solo challenges. First off, first, first off, just that's all you want to be doing. Ultimate kickoff solos, definitely important. Get yourself some of those collectibles because those collectibles can be put into a random team kickoff set, which will give you a team collectible that you can thus use that is a quick sell for training. Now, if you don't know what I mean is that if you put those into the set, there's a set I'll show you guys towards the end of the video if I remember, and pretty much you get a random team. I got the 49ers, and the way it works is for every win they get, you get a higher training value. So like if they get six wins this year, you can quick sell that for like 3K training. I did get the Niners, which wasn't that good, but you could potentially maybe pull the Chiefs, pull the Patriots, and if you get one of those, you could potentially, if they go like, if they get like 13 wins, you could be looking at like 10,000 training, which is really good for an only spent team. Also, you wanna be getting this team upgrade token, team captain upgrade token, which can be used towards your Shazier, Ty Law, Dallas Clark, or your Herman Moore. I remembered it. Now, you also want to be looking at the assembly of your team. I'm going to go over that quickly. You guys should know. You play these solos, you get the tokens, put them into the set. You get a choice of Matt Ryan, Tyron Matthew, Juju Smith Schuster, Marshall Lattimore. And typically, I recommend you take Marshall Lattimore there. Now, the Madden Ultimate Team 10, at this point, if you guys haven't done it already, you're kind of too late. But if you still have the chance, every week they pretty much on Fridays drop a limited time legend and it comes with a solo sequence. And if you play the solo sequence, you get one token. Now, at the end of 10 weeks, you get one fantasy pack that you can pick any of these limited time legends their full card now guys sadly i missed the michael vick challenges because i'm stupid and i forgot which really really sucks and i'm really i don't want to talk about it, it gets me upset when i think about it but the point is here is that if you do this that is a great option for a no money spent team you could have a michael vick a willis a bo jackson or julius peppers and maybe even a dion or moss or calvo whenever they end up dropping towards the end of this promo now team of the weeks for no money spent team are pretty important because you do get the team of the year token weekly which is definitely important that you guys want to be looking at we have team of the week one right now make sure you guys get these done before they drop the next sequence because if you play these you do indeed get a team of the year token which you want because at the end of the year you will be getting a team of the year free player by collecting all these tokens which at the end of the year is always really cool to be getting also you get a gold plus team of the week player and typically some of these team of the week gold players are budget b such as hollywood brown i'll be going over that john ross 91 speed they're very very useful so it gives you a free version of those and if not you can just sell it and buy the one you want now the much superstars if these solos are still around you guys definitely want to be playing them because again if you get to 100 you get first off for the first tier you get an 84 to 85 superstar kind of spec some awesome cards in there such as philip Lindsay, anthony barr then at tier two, you get an 89 to 90 overall Nat Superstar Master, which is cool because you can get Mahomes, Gilmore, Demarcus Lawrence, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Zach Ertz, Harrison Smith, Todd Gurley, and if I missed anyone, my bad, but you guys got the point. Really, oh, Luke Keekly. There's some really awesome options there, so I highly recommend you do that. Now, if you keep on going down to NFL Epics, if you get all the stars required, I believe it was 120, you get a Deacon Jones and a Baker Mayfield. Now, if you guys don't like those cards on your team, you don't want to use them, get them done because you can toss them into the exchange set. If you toss him, Deacon, the Baker, and the Marshall Lattimore you get from the Assemble Your Team solos. You can get an 87 to 88 overall Elite Exchange Player Pack, which could get you a Mac, a DeAndre Hopkins, a Luke Keekly, a Wagner, and so on and so forth. Now, these Legend solos for a normal spent team, I think, are huge. 
because on a weekly basis when they first drop these like saturday when they first drop and you want to be playing them if you get these challenges done as one of the first people to finish them you could typically put those power up cards that you get from playing them like for the brian dawkins of the gale sayers brian dawkins was going for 60k for the first like 30 minutes that he was out so you could theoretically get these challenges done within 10 15 minutes by playing two clock and then you could put them up for a ton of coins and the worst ones will go for like 10k but still it's still 10 20k you can get per power up per weekend so i think it's very important always do the one that's more wanted so like brian dawkins is going for a million coins so his power up was going i saw him selling for 60k so i think that's highly important also if you guys don't want to sell them i did power up brian dawkins typically these legend power up cards and the mutt 10 power up cards are really good options as far as just having on your team i think they're no money spent beast because you get like close to their full stats without actually having to shell out of the coins for their full for their full card so I always recommend you guys get those powers, whether you want to sell them or keep them. The theme builders, again, was important. Oh, the theme diamonds. Theme builders, I don't know. Do that at your own risk. It takes a long time. I don't know how I feel about those. Theme diamonds are important because you did get a free theme diamond player from, not from here, but from the house rules, if you guys didn't miss that already. But you also get a Nat Gold, Nat Gold, Nat Core Elite, Nat 84 Plus, Nat Gold, Nat Gold. These are important, in my opinion, because these do go. I've gotten DeAndre Hopkins out of this Nat Gold, which I still have my team to this day. So the Nat Golds are very, very good packs, as is the 84 Plus. I did get a Platinum card from the 84 Plus. I think it was a Platinum Travis Frederick. So there's, there's definitely potential to have there. And then obviously Journey gets you guys Michael Thomas. Now, with the Series 2 coming in approximately a few days, you guys want to be on top of this. Get your Mutt levels done before then, because typically Mutt levels is one of the best way to get your team to get your team really good in my opinion so if we go to mutt dedication uh no i think it's under series progression mutt level so when you got these mutt levels all the way down to level 50 i recommend you guys hit level 50 before series 2 starts you will get like in total like 700k worth of coins with quick sales with platinum packs and so on and so forth you do get a full legend pack at the end which if you're no money spent maybe you didn't even open it and you also get a lot of power passes now with the series 2 coming keep in mind just to prep you guys for that series 2 will come with i believe another power pass that power pass will most likely be an 89 to 90 overall, which will be huge. You can get like pretty much any card in the game, minus the ones that just recently came out. And if you guys know how power passes work, pretty much you get their power up card, you power them up, and you can use the power pass and place their full card. So like if you want legend Bruce Matthews, instead you power Bruce Matthews, you throw in the power pass, you don't have to pay for his full card. I think that's a very useful option. Now, this new series will probably bring about some new packs in the level of progression. If you guys know how these packs work, you typically get two packs, one you can buy with coins or training, and then or you could buy with coins and then one you could buy with money it's typically like three dollars and it comes with a guaranteed platinum player so i believe we ended off last time with platinum players capping at about an 84 in those packs this series might bring about 85 and 86s those quick sell for a little over 100k so that this this it probably go from level 50 to 60 would be the level cap so you're probably able to get like two or three of those packs so you could probably get like two 300k worth of quick sells plus coin quick sells plus a power pass so i find that very useful in my personal opinion so I definitely recommend you guys get on top of your mutt level grind. Also, if you guys are a no money spent team and you guys know how hard it is to get trophies and how much trophies can help you with no money spent, such as getting Von Miller, getting Coach John Madden, you probably want to finish your online games. If you guys are close to 200, I recommend you start grinding these out now because I think if I think it does start the 19th or at least next week, so you guys have approximately like four to five days left to do this. So I highly recommend you guys get on top of finishing this and getting your last minute trophies that you guys might possibly need for anything you need because as you get to these higher tiers you do get 120 per so these are very useful if you finish from about 75 all the way up to 200 you probably get like four or five hundred trophies there on top of what you have and remember at the end of the series trophies do get cut in half so if you have a thousand trophies going to series two that will become 500 so get whatever you need black um from the series you can still juice out of it and then make sure to go spend it if you think that you're gonna if you don't want to lose half of it now guys the one thing that does suck about no money spent team is that they did stop doing house rules weekly that was a big no money spent thing we got a free theme builder a free superstar a free natalie there was some really good stuff that we were getting but they no longer do it weekly i'm hoping that next tuesday they do do a another house rules on tuesday and they do allow us to get one of the kickoff masters for free as a night card that's my hope i don't know that but that was definitely big for no money spent teams they no longer offer that now guys i'm gonna give you guys a few little beasts that i really think you might want to be picking up for a no money spent team that definitely could help you guys out i'm gonna go over to sets because that's where i see them team of the week guys if you're a no money spent team you always want to be looking at these team of the week set pieces now if you go into the offense here or defensive here you'll see all of them i really think that there's some pretty good budget beast within here such as marquise brown i think if you're a no money spent team you want to be picking up hollywood brown right here on the ravens 91 speed forget his catching stats right like his catching stats aren't good but if you compare him to tyra kill right tyra kill and him both can't really catch 
except Tyreek Hill goes for like over 100k Marquise Brown goes for 7k if you're no money spent team I definitely think you want Marquise Brown maybe in the slot maybe just as a fourth receiver for burning or even just a kick returner for 7k I think having a kick returner a punt returner a special teams guy and even a burner on offense is a really really good option now if you're not a fan of Marquise Brown or you think he's too tiny or whatever you always have the option of John Ross John Ross out of Washington well, in, in college, I should say. And he's 5K. He's on the Bengals. He's 5'11", a little bit taller. His catching stats are quite worse, though. Like, at least Tyreek Hill can make some catches with the 70. John Ross is going to be dropping things if he gets hit. Or he might even be dropping things open. So, I think I prefer Hollywood Brown over him, which is why he's probably 2K more expensive. Now, as far as the rest of this, I mean, Dak, Pre Dak Prescott's a pretty good budget option. But he's a little too expensive. Like, his, his overall says budget option, but he's too expensive because he is the top set piece for this. And then Marlon Mack, again... Not a horrible running back for 22k. 84 speed, 80 carry, 87 agile, 88 excel. I'd probably want him or Philip Lindsay as my budget beast running back on one of my no money spend teams. Philip Lindsay's probably a little bit better, except for the excel and the agility. That kind of puts Marlon Mack maybe a little over the top, plus the break, the break tackle. But other than that, either one would be a great option, and you can get this Philip Lindsay right out of your free 84 to 85 superstar nap pack. But guys, that is, a, that is about it for the video. I did kind of cover all the aspects of no money spent. If I missed anything, make sure to comment it down below. Anything that you guys suspect will be coming out that will be good for the next video we make just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Turn on the noti bell. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Comment down below like I said anything I missed. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Football Sunday. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.